Italia before Russian invasion in 2014. I lived in uh, Donetsk area and uh, I was working in an international company. I had quite a comfortable life. We had uh, quite a big family, a lot of friends, uh, very nice places uh, where to go. And after Russian invasion uh, in 2014, uh, life changed. Like we no longer could go where we wanted. A lot of people uh, left uh, our city. So uh, when uh, my daughter was uh, one month and a half, we went for a small vacation uh, just to uh, forget like a little bit everything that is happening. And after a month, we understood that uh, we cannot come back because uh, started the war. So we stayed in the city where we knew nobody and. Uh, Firstly for some months, then for some years, and now we live there already for seven years. And um, it's very, very difficult because, for example, I have no photographs from my childhood. I do not have things that remind me my grandfathers, grandmothers. You cannot go to cemetery to your relatives. You cannot see some of your relatives. It's really difficult. What we do in uh, Ivano-Frankivsk, uh, we, uh, from the very beginning, we established uh, a community of internally displaced people, the same as us. And then we established a uh, founded NGO, non-governmental organization. And from the very beginning, our task was to help other IDPs. When you uh, left without anything, you find some strong things, some power in you uh, that uh, keep you forward. Ukraine is a very nice country with uh, very strong cultural traditions uh, and for me um, a peaceful, sovereign Ukraine is a place where we have democratic values, we have a lot of connections to another world and it's a freedom of choice, it's freedom of moving, it's a freedom of words. And uh, for me, it's also the empowerment. I want those values, such a strong points will be developed further. Um, that's all.